Salutations and welcome to Ross Range. Today's video, the Winchester Model 1906 Rescue. What we've got here is a badly neglected Winchester Model 1906. This particular rifle was made around 1935, 1936. Serial number in that time is a little unclear, but somewhere right around that area. Yeah, the action on it's pretty stiff. It's been neglected. Probably uh, shot quite a bit, rarely cleaned thrown in a corner and uh, forgot about for decades. But it doesn't look like it's in too rough shape. Everything seems to still work. The rust looks like it's mostly just surface rust. The stock on it is not broken or horribly marred. I think um, this will clean up real nice. One of the things that I do with these rifles is not to restore them to like new condition. I'm not trying to make it look like, hey, it's a model 1906 straight out of the box. I'm just trying to take these old neglected firearms and bring them back to a state where it looks like they have been well used old rifles that have been cared for. So when I'm done, you might think that this was used, cleaned up, and put away, and kept nice. So that's where we're trying to get it. These uh, 1906s, towards the end of their life, which was 1935-1936, actually 1932 was the final manufacturing date, but uh, they still put out a few here and there from miscellaneous parts until 1936. So let's get to work, shall we? Okay, so when I opened this up, of course, I first thing I said was, What is that? What the fuck is that? Yeah, we've got broken spring and something. A uh, piece of paper folded up, held in with a tack. Maybe it's a treasure map. Maybe it's the secret to who killed JFK. Maybe it's the secret of life. You can also see there on the uh, right hand side there looks like something was living in there <laughs> right next to the screw hole. All right well let's get this thing out of here and see if I'm gonna be rich. Oh, I can't wait. The excitement's killing me. Life insurance! No, it's just a plain old rolled up matchbook cover from who knows when. All right, so I guess it's not pirate treasure and it's not the answers to the secret of life. So let's get back to uh, taking this thing down and getting it cleaned up. Time's a-wasting.
Okay, so let's get out the Dremel and start cleaning off this rust. First, however, let's take a little break and do my second favorite pastime, laughing at the army. 92! 119 Okay, so here are uh, three different sizes and styles of brass brushes that I'll be using on this this firearm with my Dremel. You don't want to use anything other than brass. 